Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody is doing well. And today I'm back with my current beauty favorites. I just wanted to come on here and show you guys what I have been loving. Um, there is, I guess, quite a little bit of stuff that I've been loving, but it's just stuff that I've always used. Some are newer, but it's just stuff that I've been using. And I'm also um, recording without my mic because I been having issues with my audio the um, mic that I have I've asked you guys how it sounds and some of you guys says sounds like I'm talking to you guys on a speaker so I'm just using just my regular um, camera mic hopefully it's okay but I know that my lens does autofocus so you can hear that cracking sound so you guys let me know what you guys think if my audio sounds good like this or if I should continue using my other mic. I'm trying to look into mics, but some of them are really expensive. And I just don't know if I want to spend like $300 on a mic. So, any of you guys do film any YouTube videos and you guys do use a mic, let me know which one you guys use so I can venture out and try new ones. So far, I've bought in like three mics and I feel like the audio has just been shitty, but enough with the rambling. Let's go ahead and move on to my favorites So the first item that I want to show you guys is this makeup forever um, Matte velvet skin powder. Um, this is a blurry foundation powder. I did receive this from influencer And I did want to do a review for you guys, but I don't know if you guys were interested But this is a powder. I'm in the color Y365 and this is a little sponge you guys this is so good even if you just use this little sponge it looks disgusting but this sponge by itself when you rub it in and put it on your skin even if you don't want to wear liquid foundation this powder foundation is really good you guys I really do recommend this powder it has been one of my favorites I've been using it almost every day besides my collab powder which I do love but this one here I've been loving like every day you guys and Sephora is having a sale so if you guys are interested you guys can go try it out to see if you guys like it for yourselves the next one is I know it's a little bit newer it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and this foundation you guys is so good like I literally can wear it and maybe like four hours or five hours into like me wearing it, my skin is not as oily as it normally is. And even it comes with a pump. But you guys should definitely try this out. It's like very light on your skin. It's Supposedly it's 24 hours. I haven't worn it for 24 hours, but I have been wearing it. And it leaves your skin just so good. And I just feel like you don't need to touch up as much with any other foundation. It, the Estee Lauder foundation that I wear, it's full coverage, but it does give me oily like really quickly and this one I noticed that it does not you guys and it's really good you guys should get you a sample if you haven't tried it out to try it if you're like oily very oily like me but this one is like the bomb so since we're sticking to face I'm gonna get into the next item which is the bronzer from Fenty Beauty sorry the packaging is all dirty and I have the color Private Island bronzer is just so buttery you guys look at the color it's like so gorgeous and it's like creamy buttery and it blends out like really good and they do have different colors if you go to Sephora to your skin tone but that's the color of that one and I feel like it's not too orangey not too brown like I'm wearing it today on top of my other blush but it's just very soft and Overall, her line, I love her line, you guys. I love the foundation. I love her concealers. Everything about her line is just the best. Like, the bomb. The next item that I'm going to show you guys is a little bit affordable. This is the new Airspun Highlighter Powder. And they do have different colors. This one that I have is Glow for Gold. And that's what I'm wearing today. It's just like, bam, in your face, you guys. Like, And it just comes with this little sponge here but I don't use it I don't know why they put it in there I don't know maybe they think they're gonna put it all over your face but it does have like the original packaging this part and let me just show you guys do you see just how gorgeous that is 
like I did buy the other one it's like a silver kind of color they do have like a pinky highlighter but I don't really like too much pink but this one is gold and I feel like the other one is a little bit silver and it's only like $5.97 if um, at your local Walmart maybe Walgreens but I got so excited when that came out and I seen it and I've been wearing it every day it's just a bomb the next item that I want to show you guys is from KKW Beauty this is her highlighting banana powder and I have in the number three it's brightener for under your eyes it's very soft and I already made a dent in it because I've been using it like every single day and it's and I'm wearing it even today just like it gives you like a highlight just gorgeous and it blends really easy it doesn't get kicky under my eyes or even make it like really dry and it's like so good like I don't even know like what other words to say but she also has like on her website like after pay so if, I think if you buy like maybe $35 or more um, you can do like every two weeks payment I don't know if they let you do like every month but I know for sure every two weeks so like just go ham if you want to buy any of her other stuff that one though is good for sure I love that and that I got the recommendation by my girl here on YouTube uh, Rosita Applebaum if you guys watch her channel if you guys already do she is so beautiful I love all her recommendations she's just always truthful and on point with her stuff so hey girl the next product that I'm going to show you guys is a lip gloss and of course this is from Fenty Beauty these are her gloss bombs and this one is in the color fussy this one's a little bit more like a nudier I guess you can say from the first one I have all three right now I just have the two but it just leaves your lips so moisturized it gives your lips a shine it doesn't do like you're looking crazy that your stuff doesn't stick on your lips because you know how when you buy some glosses like it just sticks on your lips this one does not and like I said her line is just the bomb so since we're going to be sticking to lip products I'm going to show you this lip mask from Laneige I believe it's called Laneige this one is a lip sleeping mask I know they have ones like in tubes but this one is so good as you guys can tell I've been using it a lot it makes my lips really moisturized and it doesn't leave my lips like feeling all gross I don't know if you guys ever button some lip balms when you go to sleep at night and you wake up and your lips feel disgusting I don't know if you guys ever had that I've had that and with this one like it doesn't it just makes your lips feel so smooth and lately my lips have not been crusty because sometimes they're like crusty dry and these ones do not they work really well and they have like two other colors I think yellow and green well they have I guess it's this one's a berry mix so the other ones I don't know maybe cucumber or peach or something but they have different ones but this one I really recommend you guys it's like really really good and the next is my wet and wild spray this one is a photo focus cucumber 3-in-1 primer water this is to prep set and refresh as you guys see if you guys seen um my if you guys watch my um primer video this one i show on there and it's like so good you guys this is feels so great on your skin and you know how when you put powder on your face you look powdery when you spray this on it just makes you look dewy like this well I look like this right now because of that highlighter like I put a lot on but it just makes you look so good the next one I am so excited about I know it's way way new but I've been using it almost like every day and it's this Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette from Anastasia do you guys see like how gorgeous that is oh my god because I was like so excited the first day that it launched not like her pre-sale because it was like sold out within like literally nine seconds but I bought it like the next day when it came on their website on the Anastasia website and look at those colors I just been digging in every day and like doing makeup looks I just feel like it's so versatile like you can do several makeup looks just with this palette and overall like Anastasia like her products are so good I don't think 
that I have found anything in her line that I don't like. Like I've, you know what I mean? Like I like the brow pencils, everything that I found from her. Although the gel pomade little thing, if you guys watch my video, that was like a disaster. But I didn't know how to use it. Now I do, so it it's better. But overall, her line is like the best, you guys. Her eyeshadows are so good. Like they're all blendable. Everything in her line is just a bomb. I haven't tried her foundation. I guess there's a luminous foundation. It's supposed to be for all skin types. I don't know if do you guys think like I should buy it to try it out for you guys or like I don't know let me know because I'm kind of scared because it's as hell so I'm just kind of nervous because it's luminous um, I've had tried luminous foundations um, I'm just scared. you guys let me know I guess we are getting into the winter time so or fall oh, it should be okay but I'm just kind of scared <laughs> and I have one more thing to show you guys I know all my stuff kind of on this month is high end stuff and it is kind of expensive but if you have the money to splurge just do it don't let other people tell you why are you always buying high end stuff or I can't afford that I don't know I just feel like people always talk and they make you feel bad like so you want to buy cheaper stuff I don't know you guys I like buying both I like to do both um, if you want to buy something that's high-end for yourself, just buy it. Like, if you want to buy the Jackie Hino palette, just buy it. I mean, you only live once. I don't know. That's just how I feel. And the last ones are eyelashes. They're from um, Batty B Lashes and um, Jenny69. She is the bomb, bomb lady. And these ones are in the, and these ones are in Saucy. Oh my god, you guys. Look at her packaging too, like you see and I like their little logo right here these are just so bomb they've been my lately my go-to eyelashes but today I'm not wearing them um, I'm wearing the cocoa lashes from Queen Bee um, these ones are new I haven't cut them so that's why I haven't used them but the other ones that I have that I've been using I have to clean them a little bit so I didn't have time to clean them otherwise I would have been wearing them right now too but these are, I guess the Coco ones are kind of similar to the um, Saucy Lashes from Baddie B. Although I think Baddie B is a little bit better. So don't tell them. But yes, those are my favorite eyelashes right now of all time. They're just so good. And also, she has Afterpay now on her website. So I did buy um, a few different kind of um, her lashes. Like Insta Ho. Um, I haven't bought the, no, is that, is it Insta? No, the, I think those are the new ones, right? No, I haven't bought those ones, but I bought different ones. The other ones that she had on her website, and then I stocked up a little bit on the Saucy, so I have a few of those, just in case, because those have been my favorite. But those are all my favorites that I've been loving so far. I guess it's not, I guess, like a month thing. I just, what I've used that I've been loving, um, because it just changes all the time, but this is what currently in the last month and a half-ish, newish, early-ish <laughs> that I've been loving. Um, it's just stuff that I've been using every day and I've just been in love with. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. I know that I have like this kind of berry lip like I'm already in fall even though it's hot as fuck here and it's not gonna be fall. I, well maybe soon or maybe next week but it's still so hot here. But let me know if you guys tried any of these stuff. Let me know of any stuff that you guys might like that I can try out and review for you guys. But thank you guys all so much for your guys' support and your comments. That really means a lot to me. And don't let anybody else, don't let anybody tell you guys otherwise what you should do makeup wise. It's makeup, it washes off. So just live your life. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.